Okay. So look at uh, the completed uh, Bowman extruder stepper system for my uh, catalyst or for a uh, cell. There we go. So basically, uh, these washers right here, there's a little little groove in there, and this will go around the outside of the 5 16 rod and then clamp onto the tool by tightening down these. So let me show you a little bit about what's here. So just notice the construction. You have uh, the end piece, the middle piece, and uh, you have the holder piece. Now you also might have a couple washers right here. This pushes the motor. Uh, so the way this is, is the further this motor is pushed into here, the tighter it becomes with this uh, uh, assembly over here. So the more force you push here, the tighter and less space there is for uh, any uh, filament that's fed through here. This is the side it feeds through and uh, this is the side that goes through the Bowman cable. Uh, Give me a second. I seem to have uh, inadvertently put that upside down. So There we go. And uh, what you do is you uh, end up getting your uh, your Bowman cable and uh, you put it into there and that little notch keeps it in place and uh, then you, uh, you get a washer and uh, And you put it right there and you just tighten it down. That will keep both the, the notch holder in place and uh, there we go. Uh, there we go keeps the notch holder in place. Th this will be tightened down and become more straight. It also, the motor can still turn. You can see that uh, it's touching the... There we go. The, the wheel still turns. So this is the direction this goes. This prevents the... Uh, th the idea is that the, the, the direction it turns will always tighten the uh, bolt that is attached to the coupler. Uh, so you should always have it turn uh, to the right from this side. And uh, then it'll, it'll go in, the film will go into uh, the cable and it'll come out the other end on the extruder. So anyway, real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this for you. You got your two washers that push the motor in. The tighter the motor is pushed in, the more uh, tension there is. You can push it too tight and then the motor won't have enough power. So you don't want to push it too tight. You want the parts to be able to move. Then you have, uh, you have a couple uh, nuts here. Okay, so uh, this is this is the holding piece. It's easier to assemble than to disassemble. So this attaches the unit to uh, your uh, catalyst, and it also helps hold the motor in place. Yeah, this piece just needs to be up far enough that the end of the motor is in, so the motor won't turn. But you notice that you can very easily pull the motor out. Let me uh, take the bottom washer and the, the extruder holder off. There we go. So you can pull the motor out, put the motor in. Alright. There's the motor, by the way. 
and uh, if you're curious, that, um, again, I only have 10 minutes. So this so is the motor inside the motor uh, shaft. On top of the shaft is uh, a piece of tubing about an inch long. You'll notice that in your kit. It is glued. It is super glued to the shaft. And then it is super glued from the outside of the tubing onto the coupler. And then the coupler is glued to the uh, 5 16th nut. This is 5 16th coupler. 5 16th nut. So, uh, excuse me, 5 16th bolt, which extends out about a quarter inch past the uh, last nut. So there's a big washer, there's um, a gasket that's it's basically uh, one of these gaskets that's smashed down. So the tighter you smash this, the, the more the, the gasket goes outward. Uh, so you don't want to smash it too much, otherwise uh, uh, you won't have a gap in here. This, this gap is where the, uh, the filament is squeezed through. Then you have a washer, you have... Uh, uh, a roller skate bearing, then you have a washer, and then you have the uh, end bolt. And so this is one side of the pinch wheel. Uh, the other side of the pinch wheel is right here. And this consists of uh, uh, an inch and a quarter, one fourth inch uh, threaded bolt. And on this side you have a washer and you have uh, a roller bearing and inside the roller bearing it's held in place by uh, tubing just like the uh, the Z bar to X bar and then you have a, a washer then you have a nut and then you have two uh, my setup I'm testing right now I have three washers uh, so that it doesn't slip. So you have two or three washers you use and then another bolt. And this interface is like this. And the more you push the motor, the straighter it becomes, which increases the amount of force in here. So typically you want it like this. And that should be enough for the filament to get in, nothing else. And then you just push it. You just bolt it so the motor goes more in. And that will uh, uh, have more uh, tension in between here for for anything so uh, this won't slip because you have that that rubber gasket in there it will pick up with the filament and it will help push it up to 125 millimeters a second okay so now this assembly uh, notice this assembly right here notice how these parts are put together all right and notice the direction so you have a long bolt. This is a six or eight inch bolt, carriage bolt. You have uh, nuts, and you want these to be tight. Um, nuts. You see nuts all around. You have nuts up here, and the bottom of this should uh, it should be. See, there's a square hole in here, and the idea is that uh, the motor can't turn. So, see the motor's most of the way in, that's about where you want that. And then you want these to be fairly tight. You don't want this to come undone for you while it's vibrating around. And then, <clears throat> this kind of just goes the same direction as, as these. And uh, you only put this on after you put the motor on. Because uh, <clears throat> this is, this is going to be on top of the wiring. Uh, and it's going to go like this, or, or however. Um, I would prefer that uh, the wiring side, uh, see this this notch right there, so the wires can get through. Um, so it would be right about there, and then when you have the, the uh, bolt go through and you put the washers on the end to clamp the motor in place, the tighter you push the, the motor down, the uh, more tension it has. Anyway, so <clears throat> there's the assembly again. I only have a, a little bit more time, so I'll go ahead and show the unit again. And this is going to be followed by um, written documentation soon.